Put this. Cal Torak. Teleport around the world in minutes. It's Cal Torak here. Yeah, Today, yeah. I want to show you one of my favorite things I've done in Season of Discovery. Let's see. This game and its community never ceases to amaze me with the incredible things they can do. I love those sandals. A massive shout out to Tess in the Mage Discord. They are the one who showed me this incredible technique and broke down all the details for me. Also showed me several great teleport locations to use. Tess has a YouTube channel, though content isn't their focus. I still want to give them a shout out so it'll be linked down below. Before I explain the in-depth details of how this tech works, I just want to show you the absurdity of it. As an Alliance player, zone into the Deep Run Tram. We blink and then zone out. Then cast Displacement. This will teleport us to Silver Pine Forest. Yes, wow. Silver Pine Forest. We then run straight east. I like to point at this tower here. I swim to the coordinates 27.7, 59.9 roughly. We then cast Teleport to Darnassus. As the Teleport is going off, we spam Blink. You should be able to Blink as the Teleport is going off. Once we are in Darnassus, you then use Displacement. Now, we are at the purple side entrance to Mara. That's right boys, for Alliance Mages, we no longer need to have a Hearth in Desolus. We can very quickly get to Mara in less than two minutes from Stormwind. How the hell is this possible? The way Tess explained it to me is the following. If you blink in the game, it stores your X, Y, and Z coordinates, but not the map ID. If you encounter a loading screen, the map ID changes. However, Displacement doesn't care and simply transports you back to the stored coordinates. Tess made a macro that will show you the raw chords in game, I'll have it linked in the description below. Using this technique of storing XYZ coordinates, and then the macro that would show you your current chords in game, Wow, guys. Tess was able to find cute little spots to do some pretty incredible things. Are you an alliance mage that needs Darkmoon Fair, but it's in Mulgor? No problem. Let's do the same thing from Ironforge. I think they'll Into fix the this tram, boy soon. Blink, I mean, I don't know how they fix it, but... And then zone out to Ironforge. Use Displacement, and this will put you at the AV portal. We then run to Hills Rad Foothills to this coordinate here. We do the exact same thing, teleport to Arnassus, and blink as it goes off. When you cast Displacement, you will spawn at the graveyard outside Thunder Bluff. It's a short walk to the Dark Moon Fair from here. How about a quick route to ZF? That's only for Find a Alliance. Find a lock modan from Ironforge and run to this location at Blasted Lands. No, it's we not the bad. same technique here. We cast our. So basically, as far as I understand, it stores the coordinates for the map. So wherever you'll be on the coordinates, like say for example in Kalimdor, once you use displacement after you teleport, it's gonna get you back to the same coordinates, but on the other map. Do you understand? So. Portal, and then we blink as it goes off. Once you cast displacement. Guess what? You are just south of the entrance to ZF. Just make sure you blink before you hit the ground. What about the gates of AQ? Head over to this spot in Stormwind and run up to these barrels. Climb the wall like this. Run forward until you fall and go under Stormwind. We run west to the water here. How do we find the Horde ones though? We need, to, need, we need a horde one that sends you to to da Darkman Fair or to Mara. Swim to these coordinates. Same tech as before. Teleport to Onassis, Blink, and Displacement. You'll fall on DC, but when you log back in, you're at the gates of AQ. Tess showed me they found a spot in Unguro that teleports you to the portal in Molten Core. So I set out to find a spot we could get to Unguro quickly from. After some trial and error, I was able to find this location. Run to the King's Chamber in Stormwind and run past Anduin here. Tell it to Darnassus and do the blank trick. This will put you on the edge of Silithus. Wow. Run east until you hit this wall and slow fall into Angura. You can be the horde guy type to make a new video. Oh, come on, man. It's going to take a lot of that. Those, those people make so much research. Probably they have if you go to the Mage Discord. 
I don't even have the rune displacement. You crazy? You crazy? Run to these coordinates here. When teleporting, we gotta go to Stormwind this time. Same tech though. After you displacement, you are at the portal to Molten Core. Wow. This is Dire not okay, man. Anyone? Get on the boat to Menethil to Theramore. As it's leaving, you will portal to Darn. You have to teleport before the load screen. Do the displacement trick, and yeah, dire them all. Oh, wow. Cheating Now, voice. we never know how Blizzard's going to react to something like this. My assumption is it's going to get patched out very yeah, quickly. Same here. But you never know how severe the reaction is going to be. Do this at your own risk. I seriously doubt anyone's going to get banned for doing this, but you've been warned. Seriously, though, this was the most fun I've had in Phase 3 running around doing this. I'm curious of all the fun locations people will find before it gets fixed. I hope Horde have a lot of cool places to do this, but yeah, I only know the Alliance spots. Oh my god, dude. This a is lot like of my huge. enjoyment for Phase 1 and Phase 2 was, shockingly, the discovery of all the ways we could break the game with runes and new toys. A large thing for me was the discovery of new AoE farms and dungeon farms using our runes, pushing mages to the absolute limit. With the addition of the run speed increase and slow immunity that dungeon mobs have, it's essentially killed AoE dungeon farming. All our old farms for 50 dungeons are disgustingly hard, if not impossible, and definitely not worth it anymore. I've enjoyed this though, even though I assume it'll be patched. It was a lot of fun. It's really cool seeing the creativity of the WoW community. I seriously love this kind of stuff. One final shout out to the Mage Discord and Tess for all of this info. I now stream every Monday through Friday, starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be live on both YouTube and Twitch, so come hang out. He has the weekends off, boys. See? I'm here on a Sunday, and I've been yesterday here on a Saturday. He has the weekend off. Twitch Prime in the chat. <laughs> Great video, Carl Torak. Thank you very much. Leave a like. I'm going to give you um, uh, the link in the chat if you guys want to subscribe. He makes content mage content and the hunter content as well you see i am subscribed look oops <laughs> but i already got, got him recommended on my uh, feed though okay this is really great i wonder if uh, if anyone can find anything if you're watching on youtube if you can find anything for a uh, horde mage teleports please let me know come to my stream at twitch.tv slash and um we can discover more of them with that being said, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure to leave a like and um, stay frosty. Bye bye.